Hey, today I'm going to talk about how credit cards affect your credit score, your TDSR, and your ability to borrow money from financial institutions. From time to time, there will be someone in my Telegram chat group asking about the impact of credit cards on credit score. So I think it is worth making a video to clarify some credit score matters relating to credit cards. Now, what exactly is a credit report? A credit report is a document that's issued by Credit Bureau of Singapore, and it gives you a score based on your worthiness in terms of credit and how likely you are to default and this will be assessed by financial institutions uh, so for them to decide whether or not to lend you any money. The best grade you can get on your credit report is a double A and followed by double B, double C all the way until double H. You also get a number between 1000 to 2000 with 2000 being the best and 1000 being the worst in the double H category. To see your latest credit report, you have to go to creditbureau.com.sg and pay $6.42 to buy the credit report. Now, if you want a free credit report, all you have to do is to apply for a credit card. And what better way to get a credit card than my website, which gives you fabulous sign-up goodies when you sign up for a credit card. So head over to my website for more great deals as well as to apply for a credit card. And then you can download your credit report for free. So what's the credit report used for? According to Credit Bureau of Singapore, the credit report is to let lenders or financial institutions assess your worthiness and whether or not you will run away with their money. And the second advantage is also that they can use this to protect your personal particulars from being fraudulently used to borrow money. So if you want a very good grade of AA, does that mean that you should have zero loans and therefore zero credit cards? Actually, the answer is not what you expect. If you want to have a good credit report, you actually need to have some loan and show ability to repay those loans. And one of the easiest ways you can do that is to get a credit card, make some spend on it, and then make sure you meet the monthly repayment uh, regularly as well as on time and avoid any late fees or charges on your credit card. This is because if you have not borrowed any money before or use a credit card, you are actually considered someone with an unknown credit history and that actually makes you riskier uh, in the eyes of financial institutions lending money. They want to see someone with a track record of borrowing as well as paying back their loans. And therefore, something like a credit card is actually a very uh, low commitment way of getting a loan as well as showing the ability to make repayments. So even for those who don't like to play with credit cards, you should definitely have at least one so that you can uh, borrow some small amount of money by using a credit card and then paying back on time and then improving your credit score. Now what if you apply for many credit cards, which is something very attractive to do given all the sign-up goodies that they're offering? Does that affect your credit report? Well, the short answer is yes, but again, not in the way you might think it does. Now, while applying for multiple credit cards actually increases your risk to the eyes of financial institution, uh, it only marginally increases the risk and does not really tell whether or not you are a uh, someone with good credit. Okay, for myself, I have multiple credit cards. In fact, I have, think I have 20 to 30 over credit cards. And because I pay them all on time, my credit score is a double A, which is the highest score you can get. So applying for multiple cards, especially if you do it within a short period of time, does impact your credit score slightly. But over time, as you make payments and you don't default on your loans, your credit score will actually go back up to double A as mine have. When I sign up for my credit cards, I think for a time it went down to BB or double C, right? But now it's a, a double A because I make all my loan repayments on time because uh, obviously I don't want to pay all the late charges. Another way credit cards can affect your credit score is when you cancel all your cards with a particular bank and therefore your credit limit actually goes down. When your credit limit goes down, what happens is that credit report will be slightly affected because of the decrease in available credit limit. But again, this is temporary and it will heal itself once you make regular payments uh, to your other credit cards or loans. And I think it's obvious that if you do not pay your loans on time or fail to make credit card payments, your credit report score will go down the drain very quickly. So do not miss any of your payments if you can help it. If you are in credit card debt, I think you should go for loan consolidation plans which will consolidate your loans into lower interest ones that are more manageable for you to handle. My experience with credit report is, unless your score is really really bad, 
A score between A to C actually does not really prevent banks from loaning you money. I think when I applied for my mortgage, my rating at that time was double C and I still got uh, my mortgage at the rate uh, that was offered to everyone else. So I don't think you should be too hung up on your credit uh, report or your credit score because unless I think uh, you don't make repayments and your score drops to double H, you can still make applications for credit cards, for loans, for mortgages, those sort of things and it shouldn't impact your credit life too much. As far as I can tell, the credit score in Singapore is not as powerful as the one in US where really a lot of things revolve around the person's credit score down to the interest they will get and whether or not uh, banks will loan them money. In Singapore, it's not as important. Uh, they do look at my credit history, but so far, you know, whether I'm a double A or a double C, I have not really received any uh, different treatment from the banks as far as I can tell. And I did nothing special to get my double A score. I just repay my cards in a timely manner. Uh, I use anywhere between 5 to 10 cards uh, at one go, depending on the promo of the month. And even with such a high balance uh, of unsecured loans on my credit cards, uh, my score is still double A. So uh, I think you shouldn't worry too much about your credit score in Singapore. Now, one thing I've noticed that credit cards can affect your borrowing ability is when TDSR comes into the picture. Now, TDSR is the total amount of loan you can get as a percentage of your monthly grossly income. And right now, the cap is 55% of your gross monthly salary. So if your monthly salary is $10,000 uh, for ease of calculation, your TDSR is kept at $5,500, meaning to say your loans for your car, uh, for credit cards, for mortgage is kept at $5,500 per month. And you cannot exceed that. Let's say again, you have $10,000 of monthly income and you want to buy a property and the mortgage is $5,000 per month, right? And you have a school loan of $500. Now, theoretically, your TDSR is 5.5K. So $5,000 of mortgage and $500 of school loan actually meets the TDSR cap uh, just nice at 5.5K. You may find that your credit cards actually comes in to eat away at your TDSR limit because each credit card's minimum payment for the month actually makes up a loan that will affect your TDSR. So let's say the mortgage you want to take is $5,000 now and you have a study loan of $500 and you use your credit card uh, to a tune of $1,000. Now the minimum payment for most credit cards are either $50 or about 3%, whichever is higher. So for $1,000, your minimum payment should be $30, but uh, usually banks start at $50. So this $50 actually will be counted in your TDSR. So your study loan $500 plus this card's $50, and then the mortgage you want to take up $5,000 actually exceed the TDSR, and therefore you cannot borrow $5,000 for your mortgage. You will then have to reduce the mortgage amount to uh, by $50 because now you exceed by $50 or however much you exceed your TDSR by. Now do take note, this is on a per card basis. So the more cards you use on that month you want to take the loan, uh, the more your TDSR will be affected, which I personally encountered. So what happened is, if I spend $10,000 on a single card, uh, my minimum payment is 3%, so $300 will be deducted from my TDSR. But what happens is I usually spend across a variety of cards. So I spent $1,000 on card A, $1,000 on card B, and C, D, E, so forth. So on five different cards, even though my uh, total spending is $5,000, each card represented $50 of minimum spending at least times five. So it's $2,500 of uh, monthly debt that was recognized by TDSR. And therefore, I couldn't take as much loan as I wanted to at that point of time. But the impact of credit cards on your TDSR is also very temporary. So what I did at that time was to be a good boy for one or two months and restricted myself to only using one or two credit cards and therefore bring the impact to only about $50 to $100. And then after my loan was successful, I could go back to using my credit cards now because TDSR is now out of the picture after the mortgage has been issued. So do take note, if you have any intention of buying property in the near future, one or two months before your mortgage application, make sure to reduce the number of cards you are actively using if TDSR is a concern to you at that point of time. 
So uh, don't get caught like me using 10 cards and then your TDSR just gets affected and then you have to wait one month or two for a new application for a mortgage. So in short, I wouldn't worry too much about credit cards as well as my credit score. As long as you dutifully pay back your credit card bills, which you should because of the ridiculous interest rates on those cards, you will do fine, your credit rating will be fine, you can get your mortgages, your car loans, etc. No problem. Right, so uh, I hope this video has been useful for you. Uh, check out my other videos and you like my content, drop me a like, subscribe to my Telegram group and I'll see you next video. You can get as a percentage of your monthly grossly income. And monthly grossly income.